Cobra Bible, Book 6, Book of Morals and Precepts, Chapter 45, Friendship. Much of the book is to develop your moral code. Avoid using it to judge others. Cobra Bible, Book 6, Book of Morals and Precepts, Chapter 45, Friendship. MPR, 45.1. The man without a friend should be avoided, for he is a man of inequity. For every man should have one friend and no more than he can count on his fingers. MPR 45.2 He who is a good friend will never lack friends, but he who thinks he has many friends has none. There is no greater loneliness than that of a man who lives only for himself, but better by far to be alone than in bad company. MPR 45.4 he who calls himself friend, while disliking him secretly, or who speaks ill of him to another, is a hypocrite, and to be despised. A friend is not the companion of a day, nor the acquaintance of a month. Friendships may be made in good times, but it is in the testing times, or hardship and adversity, that friendship is established. Friends are for hard times, not for good. No man worthy of the name will desert his friend in distress. A friendship does not cease when there is dispute, nor when one falls into error. These are the testing times of friendship. NPR 45.5 Make not a friend of the man of evil speech, or whose ways are evil. Waste not your goods on a man of short acquaintance. The companionship of a wise and contented man, even though he be in prison, is better than a rash and foolish one who has wronged you. For though you may find it in your heart to forgive him, he will always be ill at ease in your company. NPR 45.8 He who says, I have many friends, is a fool, for real friends are more rare than lapis lazuli in the wilderness. The false friend, the hypocritical friend, and the fair weather friend are far more common than our real friends. NPR 45.9 The friends who are least genuine often appear as the best ones. The false friend oft times seems the most desirable. The friend of convenience is an easy acquisition, but the friend who will remain when calamity strikes is harder to gain than the bronze breastplate. NPR 4511. A friend is not one who agrees with your argument. He is not one who frequents your abode. He is not one who sings your praises, nor is he one who converses pleasantly or bears gifts. I've been accused of splitting hairs, but to be unaware of the difference between friendship, acquaintance, intimate relationships, I think that's important. It's, you need to label them. Inform them of their status. Understand the level of confidence you place in people could harm you. You can't control others. However, you can control how much of your sanity, personal safety, and security you place in people's hands. If you assume you have thousands of friends, then you might place too much in the wrong hands, causing chaos in your own life. Many talk of boundaries, yet I wonder if they understand what that means. Many say I lack them because... I'm often telling more than others feel is necessary. I think it's because humanity tends to look outward, and this creates the need to control others to gain control of ourselves. That leads to chaos, since the only person you can change is yourself. If you know yourself, you will find you can better understand why others behave as they do. This will help you create the boundaries everyone talks about. Most important, you will no longer feel the need to control others and gain peace of mind, the need of sanity in your life.